All right, so now we spoke about linear charge density, and we know what it is. It's lambda equal to Q by L. You know that if we have a line of charge, the linear charge density is the total charge divided by the length, and uh, the unit was coulomb meter inverse. So now we know, we know that. Now let's talk about a different term. What if it's not a line anymore? It's a it's a sheet, or it's a piece of metal. It's a it's a flat. I don't know, flat anything. It's just an area that's charged, right? So say we have a sheet of charge. Does that look, oh, that's sheet, and we positively charge it. We like to be positive, so we always charge positively. All right, and uh, let's say this sheet has an area capital A. So now we're going to define something new. We're going to define something called as surface charge density. All right, surface charge density. We spoke about linear charge density, now we're talking about surface charge density. So, I bet you can guess what it is already. Surface charge density is simply going to be the charge divided by the area. The charge divided by the area. And this is denoted by another Greek alphabet, which is sigma. Alright, so sigma equal to Q by A and the unit would be coulomb meter squared inverse or coulomb per meter squared whatever same thing all right so surface charge density is Q by A new term fairly simple isn't it we spoke about line of charge which is linear charge density now we have surface uh, I mean uh, of a plate or whatever an area charge and that is sigma 